Hey everyone, Bruce here with DIY Homestead Projects. Today I'm out in my backyard. It's kind of warm and sunny and... <laughs> but anyway, I want to do a little follow-up video on the uh, Harbor Freight welder mods. It's been a little over a year since I did the modifications to this 90 amp flux core Harbor Freight welder. And I just want to show you guys how, how it's welding today after over a year's worth of use here and there on several different projects. There's one big advantage that the older transformer based flux core welder has over the new titanium 125. Don't get me wrong, I think that's a great machine and I'd like to have one. I mean it comes VCE in from the factory. But one, one big advantage that this machine has over that one is that you can run a 10 pound spool of wire in this machine. I'll show you a couple of things about the uh, spool and how to do it. Uh, there is there is one slight modification that you might want to make. So I'll show all that to you here. Okay, we're looking inside the top of the machine. And as you can see, I've got a 10 pound spool on here. I don't know if you can make that out with the angle, but uh, it says 10 pounds. This is uh, E71TGS. So it's good for single pass only. And it cost me about $40. I bought it off of Amazon. There's a lot of different options, but uh, this is just what was the best deal at the time. It's made in the US of A. And you can see how much I've used so far, about a half inch worth on the, on the spool. So depending on how, how often you weld, but this will save you a lot of money. It's, it's about $4 a pound if you buy it in the 10 pound spools and the uh, two pound spools like Harbor Freight or any, anything but the Lincoln. The Lincoln's really expensive and you only need that if you're going to do multi-pass stuff. This, this particular E71T is not for multi-pass. Apparently if you do it, use it for multi-pass your, your weld will become brittle. As you can see on the edges, it just barely fits. But Harbor Freight, I believe, did make this machine from the factory capable of running a 10 pound spool. Now this is the washer, whatever you want to call it, spacer that goes on the top. Well this outer ring, you may have to flip it over, is designed to fit right down inside a 10 pound spool. So just you don't have to do anything with the bottom. I think it's fixed onto the machine, but it's designed the same way. Just put that on the top. Put your spring on top of that. And then tighten this down. And then there's a little tube that comes out of the feeder mechanism. I cut about an inch off of that tube. As you can see the angle here. The farther I wear the spool down, the better it gets. But but I cut about an inch off of that, of that little plastic tube. And this has been feeding just fine like this. All the things included in my feeder are just stock and standard. This is 030 wire. So I have the 030 ring on here. And that's the setup. Now it's not gonna be nearly as convenient because you've got 10 pounds of wire in here not nearly as lightweight as the titanium 125 so it depends on what you're buying the machine for if you're wanting to haul it around quite a bit you may you may want to just spend a little more money on the wire but if you're if you like I do I just set this up in the shop or out here in the backyard it's not a big deal anyway I'm going to run this and uh, do a couple of welds for you and show you how it's welding these days with this wire and uh, with the all the modifications that I've done to the machine. If you're new to this channel and you haven't seen any of that, I'll put a link in the description to the playlist of the uh, Harbor Freight Welder Mods series that I did and showed everything how I modified the machine. Basically, I turned it from an AC machine to a DCEN, DC electronegative machine, which is what flux core wire is designed to run at. And it runs unbelievably well as far as I'm concerned. So these old welders, I say old, you can still buy them new for a hundred bucks or less. 
are, I, I think, worth the money. I put uh, about 40 or $50 into my modification, so I've got $150 in the machine, including a custom ground lead with a heavy-duty clamp. And that ground lead is pretty long. It's 15 feet. My, lit, my uh, gun lead isn't nearly that long, so it doesn't need to be 15 feet, but it doubles as a, a ground lead for uh, my little Chinese stick welder too. So I'm gonna run this on uh, about five on the wire speed and maximum as far as the uh, amps are concerned. And I'm gonna run some beads on some 1 8 inch steel We'll do several of them. Depends on how hot I get. I'm starting to sweat pretty good. It's warm out here today. And uh, just to give you a good demo and show you how the machine welds, I still really, even though I bought a new TIG machine, the new Prime Weld, I still really like this Flux Core welder. And it's definitely good for backyard projects where you got a little bit of a breeze or something like that where the TIG really wouldn't be good at all with the gas coverage. And you don't have to buy a gas bottle. You could just run it as is off a of 110. I am connected to a pretty long, probably a 20 foot extension cord into a 20 amp outlet. All right, let me get set up and we'll run a couple beads. Here's what I'm gonna be welding on. I've got a couple of soapstone white lines drawn on there. There's some other beads up there from my TIG practice. And this is 1 8 inch angle iron that I've just been cobbling together. So I'll just run a couple of beads. That's probably three inch long or so.
Well guys, that's going to wrap this one up. If you've got any uh, questions about the items I use to modify the welder, I'll put links, Amazon affiliate links in the description below of this video. And it's pretty much in all of the uh, description sections of all of the uh, modification videos. I think it's totally worth it. 150 bucks in the machine. I can run 10 pound spools of wire. I think it does a real good job. If you guys got some value out of this video or you just enjoyed watching it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next video.